to start the Inge Britsen training. <laughs> so, a long time ago I set up this program based on uh, podcasts I've heard, like interviews with the brothers, uh, interviews with, uh, yeah, the trainer and father. They also have uh, training partners that they're training with and I've heard interviews with them. So I've just put together a program that I think is pretty close. I've also figured out like what speed they're running at. And this is of course not 100% right because I've not talked to them myself and they don't say like open what they're training exactly. But I think this is close. Okay, so this is a program that I think they're training and this is like times and everything that I have heard and put together and it is all the sessions and yeah a typical week for them for the Ingebrigtsen brothers <laughs> so of course everyone's training different and it's different depending on what like if they're in season or off season but this is like the typical winter training program I hope and this is probably also like a few years ago because what they're training right now is not like no one has figured that out yet and this is the program that I put together for myself so that it is like the same volume of training so if they're running 1000 meters I'm running like a three minute interval instead and I can also put in my pace that I'm going to strive after holding because this is going to be, this is like you have to run at a certain pace to not overdo it. I will not be able to do this training program if I run too fast. And I have a, a threshold test that is like one year old but this is like the paces that I estimated to be if I'm going to push as hard as they are doing so that this is going to be the same effort as the Inner Britain Brothers. So today there is two sessions, like almost every day. Uh, it's 45 minutes times two. So let's go! So one thing that I've heard in many interviews is that uh, the Inge Britain brothers walk the last like 400 meters. What they do is that they run like 10 kilometers uh, and they run 5.2 kilometers out and then they turn around and run back so that they can walk the last bit. So I'm walking. Okay, so I'm done for the day ready for tomorrow and that's a hard day that's like a really hard day tomorrow we're visiting the place that they run every day when they're not on training camp the track and the lake and everything so I'm excited for that Whoa! today I'm going to do a double threshold session I'm doing 5 by 6 minutes at 435 pace which is threshold uh, on six minutes and it's a two minute rest and I'm going to do a 30 minute warm up and a 10 minute cool down and this is also what the Inner Britain brothers are doing but they're running three minutes per kilometers instead of 435 <laughs> so it's a, a difference later I'm visiting the track that they're running at so let's go hello First session done and dusted. I ran faster than I thought I would, but my heart rate was pretty low. So yeah, I feel like I wasn't tired at all in the end. Think of it, if Jakob would have done this session, he would have run like 20, 21 kilometers. And I did, what did I do? I did 13.6 kilometers. I looked at Sunnes Stadion and that was kind of fun because in the Team Inge Britain series you always see that 
track and it was fun to be there in real life. I did 65 seconds times 20 because that's equal to the 400 meters that they would have run. Hjärt? Ja. Här står han och käftar detta. Kan du dig zoomet? Philip hade skäms av dig. Jakob och för den sak skulle och Henrik. Det är nog där Hjärt sitter. Han sitter inte inne i den där. Klart han sitter på fältet. Han har inte på fältet. Jag hittar en sån. Han är sån. Det är inte så. Nej. This is the famous bus thing where Jert is taking his lactate test. Yeah. Wednesday was the same as Monday and I felt like, yeah, it was kind of feeling like a normal week. The second 45 minutes I went to a football field just to run where it was flat and when I went to the flatter area I could keep up the pace. Then we left Samnes because we had to go home and I kept on training here. Okay so in this weather the Ingerson brothers wouldn't run outside so I'm going inside and running on the treadmill. And it's also normal for the Ingersoll brothers to run on the treadmill, so I felt like that was okay. Um, and also that was like something I had to do. In an interview in a podcast, they asked Henrik, or was it... Philip. They asked some of the brothers uh, what incline they have on the treadmill and he answered that they use 0%. They only use the incline if the treadmill is going too slow for them. Some uh, treadmills just uh, go up to 20 kilometers an hour and that's when they use the incline but most of the time they don't so the incline will stay on zero percent i'm going to do the thursday's interval session the first one and that's six minutes five times same as the first tuesday's intervals 13 point six to for 13.7 kilometers an hour 15 minutes warm up 15 minute cool down and let's go control 13.6 kilometers per hour I'm going to it's the third interval and now I'm going to uh, go on to the fourth oh okay yeah I'm going to start the fourth in like one minute 15 seconds so we will Increase the speed and then for the last one I'm going to run at 30.8 But now I will do this. It feels real control Okay, the session is done I felt like this was one of the best sessions I've had like 
on the treadmill because I'm always like, oh, I can run faster because I don't think, I think that 13.7 kilometers an hour is slower than it actually is. And now I, yeah, I figured out that it's actually, it's actually like 420 per kilometer. And I didn't know that. I'm always going out too hard and then it feels really bad when I'm doing the treadmill run because I have to run at the speed I put and it feels so bad to just yeah put the treadmill on a slower pace because I can't do it anymore you know I've learned a lot from this session actually and it felt really good and I felt like I ran relaxed and I still like my heart rate was still going up but I felt like it wasn't that hard if I would have run like 0.3 kilometers an hour more then I wouldn't be able to do it and now I could increase the speed in the end and that never happens with me because I always put the pace higher than I can run I really felt that this was a good threshold session and I did good and I felt good and in a few hours I'm ready for the next session. I accidentally did the wrong warm up and cool down so I did 50 minutes warm up, 50 minutes cool down and that's for the afternoon and it was actually 20 minutes warm up, 20 minutes cool down. So I'm going to do that in the afternoon, so we will just switch it up. double threshold days two times a week but it actually went quite good <laughs> tomorrow is easy and strength and then we have a harder day on saturday and then we just have sunday left which is actually friday 45 minutes this friday that is not a friday but it's friday and i ran outside look at this so I ran the asphalt road and it was good to run it so it didn't it wasn't like slippery or anything now I'm going to do strength and the program says 30 to 45 minutes one thing that I have seen on like teaming and written and like different interviews and stuff is that when they do strength uh, they don't do heavy so it's going to be light weights because your legs aren't going to be heavy when you run like the day after and I have seen they do a lot of squats so we will see like free weights and stuff and we don't have or we have free weights here but it's not they are not that good so I will see what I can do I did some squats, some core, yeah, a bit of different exercises for 40 minutes. It's Saturday on the program. I have a hill uh, like 20 minutes from here, so it's perfect. Even though the weather is bad, I'm going to run outside. or is. It isn't bad, but it's a lot of snow, uh, but I think there's not any snow on the road because they fixed that. <laughs> it was kind of icy and I didn't have any yak to normally for the boys. He is he's like taking away some gravel on the road and if it would have been icy, he would have fixed it so that is easy to run. But I ran on the icy road, so yeah, I did what I could do. The hill session is done, it went great. It's like meditation when you just 
go up and down and count and you know exactly what you're going to do normally when I train I can be like oh I'm not sure how many intervals I'm going to run I will just do a few you know I often do enough anyways but this is like you know exactly how many you should do guess who hasn't done her last training okay, let's see what's on the plan I already know kind of but we need to know exactly three minutes four to six times we can go with five I don't know and the pace is pretty so low low the pace is low or is it slow I don't know the rest is one minute and the warm-up is 10 minutes and the cooldown is 10 minutes this is interesting because it's like a recovery threshold session I would say because it's not much and the pace is slow low the pace is I feel pretty good. I think the training volume is lower than I'm used to, but the training intensity is <laughs> a lot like twice as high. And I also just run on hard ground, so I can feel my coughs actually. They are <laughs> not that bad, but I can feel them. I can feel that I've run like over 100 kilometers the last seven days on hard ground <laughs> so let's go to the treadmill <laughs> my friend here here it's 8 p.m god we watched chess so i have to do the training now let's go third interval 20 seconds rest left, I have to go! Two laps left. I've done four out of six. 10 seconds left. Uh, lap five. One lap left. I feel great. I am going out on my last training for the this Ingebrigtsen project thing. Um, I feel pretty good actually, I think. Uh, we will see when I start running. I also have a strength training, but this is like the last run, so yeah. It was, it was enough, 90 minutes was enough. I felt like I was kind of tired but in a way that I'm not used to you know I think I could have run like an interval session but two hours would have felt long so I did it Woohoo! I'm done with this program it was fun, it was fun. I'm going to do a summary and uh, sit down and talk. Woohoo! <laughs> I have also learned a lot these seven days. I feel like sometimes I go out too hard on the intervals and I didn't do that a single time this week. Maybe on the hill sprints, but the hill sprints they were supposed to be a bit faster but it wasn't that bad and the rest of the interval session I either increased the speed or I like stayed the same often I increased the speed so that was really fun to learn that like I didn't feel that tired from the training sessions I felt like yeah I can do this in the evening again which I did and it was also really interesting to just I ran out and back on the same road and then I ran on the treadmill and I ran on track so it was pretty like adventureless training and it was interesting to try that out I think mentally that's good for me to just have some adventureless training on the program just mentally to push yourself when it's kind of boring but I think that I couldn't do this forever, it would have been too adventureless. <laughs> never say never, but 
I think that I need some adventure in my training. I also like the boring, boring training, uh, but the adventures there, it's like, mm, I need that, I can't just do this all the time. I'm not a 1500 meter runner, so uh, it's natural for me to have some adventure in my training, you know. <laughs> so to get like a honest result on this training, I would have needed to do it like for six weeks at least and then see changes, but for just this week, I think that the result is just that I've learned something. I think also I've learned something with the speed that I should not go too hard because then I can train less on higher speed. I will link some interviews and the Team Ingebrigtsen series and some other videos that have inspired me for this video and also there's a calculator like um, you can write in your time at 3000 meters running and then you can get your threshold pace and your yeah your pace that you should keep up on these intervals and it's from Göran Wienblad that was really useful for me and I think that you should try if you want to try this but at the same time don't try this at home if you're not like training a lot because it's a lot so we don't want anyone to get hurt here so yeah what is this <laughs> I just want to give a quick tip uh, if you're from Norway or maybe Sweden you might understand Norwegian I'm not sure if it is in English I don't think so but this is Yetch book and it says Yetch method so this is everything behind the scenes I hope you like this video leave a like be a better